Graduation season is almost here. And with that, educators need to start thinking about now how to do graduations in the era of social distancing. I'm going to show you two resources that you can use to help have a virtual graduation. The first is Zoom, which is a great video conferencing service that would allow you to have multiple graduates in on the same conference at the same time. And the second is Wowza Streaming Cloud, which would allow you to broadcast not to just hundreds, but hundreds of thousands of people across the planet, as well as simulcast to social media such as Facebook and YouTube. So to begin, we're going to assume that you have both a Zoom account as well as a Wowza Streaming Cloud account ready to go. Going into your Wowza Streaming Cloud account, you'd begin by going to Live Streams and choosing to add a live stream. I'm going to call this Graduation 2020, and I'm going to choose the location closest to where this graduation is going to be, which is in Denver, so I'm choosing US West. Next, I need to figure out how I'm going to connect to Wowza Streaming Cloud, and that's going to be using other RTMP. Some other changes you'll want to make right away here are changing the aspect ratio. I'm going to change that to 1080p. I'm going to say yes, I'll record this live stream, since I'm sure many people would like their graduations recorded. And I'm also going to choose to disable authentication and that just makes it easier to connect to zoom clicking next i could make other changes here if i wanted to i could also make these changes once i've completed creating this live stream and that's what i'm going to do i'm just gonna well i'll change uh, the page title here for the page people can access watching the live stream from to uh graduation 2020 as well but everything else I'll just leave alone for now I can review make sure the changes are what I want them to be click on finish and if I wanted to go back and make changes later uh, I could say go back to playback and then edit those changes if I wanted to uh, I'm not gonna do that for right now I'm gonna go back to overview and this is where we can then go and start the live stream when we're ready to go. Before we do that though, I wanna make a few other changes. First, I need to go to Zoom, and in Zoom, I need to make sure that my account is set up for this custom stream. So that means I need to go to the left under Settings, and under Settings, I can go to In Meeting Advanced, and here, if I scroll down, I'll see the options to allow live streaming meetings to Facebook, Workplace, YouTube, but what I want checked is custom live streaming service. I'll click save, and that setting's been updated. And now in order to actually have that stream ready to go, I need to have the Zoom meeting occur. So I'm gonna open up the Zoom meeting in the application for Zoom. And there's some great options here, by the way. In terms of security, you may want to make sure, for example, that participants can't screen share. Maybe they can't rename themselves so you know everybody who is part of this graduation is there with the correct names and present. Uh, you may also want to lock meeting once you know everybody is there. And then you can go under more on the right side and choose live on custom live streaming service. I'll click that and now I need to enter in the streaming URL, stream key, and optional but the page where people can see the live stream. And if I go back to Wowza Streaming Cloud, you'll see all this is available under overview. For example, here is that hosted page. So I'm gonna copy that and paste it into the live streaming page URL. And for the streaming URL, that would be the primary server, which I'll copy here, paste in. And then the streaming key is going to be the stream name. I'll just copy that and paste it in. And that's it. We are ready to go live once 
you go into Wiser Streaming Cloud and start the live stream. So we'll first start the live stream and this may take up to 30 seconds to get going. And then once it's ready to go, I'll then hide the window, go under the broadcast meeting here and click go live. This again will take a few seconds to get up and running. Once it's ready to go, as you can see the stream is not quite available yet. We can go into Wowza Streaming Cloud. I can see it's running here. I can then go into Zoom and I can see I am now live on the custom live streaming service. So I will jump back now and take a look at my page. Click on the plus and there it is up and running and working. This link opened only because we created a direct link to once again the hosted URL page right here which I could click again to open. See it running? So once again, someone has to click play in order to view the graduation. As well, uh, if you wanted to have this accessible in other areas, uh, if someone was, for example, going to watch this on their phone, they may want this HLS playback right here at the bottom. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Uh, once you are done, you certainly will want to close everything. So the first thing you may want to do is end the meeting. And then once the meeting is ended, you'll want to go back into Wowza Streaming Cloud and choose Stop Live Stream. For those who are interested in simulcasting this stream to social media, you can also go under Advanced to Transcoders. And under that Graduation 2020 transcoder, you can go to Outputs and Targets and add additional stream targets. Specifically, if you want to go to Facebook, there is a Facebook Live option. And for other places such as Periscope, Twitch, YouTube, etc., use the custom option here. All right, that's it. And for those of you who are graduating, have a great graduation. Take care.